Hi friends, today we're gonna to create principles like these. Let's come up and create a design, custom size. We're gonna use a standard sheet of paper, click on elements, type in all leaves. So we're gonna go with this. And I already know that we have about a half inch spacing on the top and the side. And I know that the height is going to be four inches and the width around three. About a half inch, there we go. Now that we have our two images, we're going to come up and name them. Just gonna write leaves. So now that we have our images up on the screen, I want to make them a, a little transparent because I really want the words to be able to show through that are on the page, but I want to keep them rich in color. So I think we're going to go with around an 85. That'll keep the details that you see in the leaves, but should allow words to pop through. All right, now we're going to do another type of transparency. We're going to click on download. We're going to save this as a PNG because this is the only way that you can save them with a transparent background. Because when you print these out, if you don't hit transparent background, you will have the leaf sitting on a white rectangle. Then the words on the book page wouldn't be visible. Now that our project's been saved, it's time to print it out. To prepare your pages to print, you'll either need pages out of a book or a magazine, or you can even print your own. And placing the pages a half inch from the top and the side going according to the measurements that I made on my design. And this will allow for the tape because you don't want to print over the scotch tape. You want it printed right on your pages. For this project, I'm not too picky about getting it completely centered because I'm going to be tearing around the leaf and applying them to a tin can in a future upcycle video on my main channel. You wanna make sure that the edges are all taped down so they don't get stuck inside of your printer. And these were printed out using a basic inkjet printer, which is posted below. Also, if you are new to Canva and would like to check out Canva Pro, be sure to use my link in the description box for one month free. Have a super blessed week and I'll see you soon.